Hello everyone. Welcome again to another online opening here at Purple Noon Gallery. I'd like to welcome Anna Miller and Daniel Browning to open the show today. Anna Miller's exhibition, Waking Dreamland, will be on here for one month at Purple Noon Gallery. I'd like to welcome Daniel Browning, Radio National's ABC broadcaster, and he will be looking after the interviews today, so I'm having a break. So, congratulations, Anna. This is a beautiful exhibition. Thank you Welcome, so everyone, and thank you, Daniel, Cheers. for taking charge. Cheers. I'm going to leave it to you. All right, thank you so much, Robin, and uh, congratulations, Anna, on this exhibition. Thank you. Let's talk about this work here. We're kind of, this is the showpiece, the centerpiece of the exhibition. Tell me about when you found this object. It's a found object. Yeah, I found it was put outside by one of our neighbours when I lived in the inner west of Sydney. And I was so excited because it's just what I was after. Um, I was influenced by an artist, uh, American uh, Kainhorns. I've got to get the pronunciation right. Absolutely love his work. I first saw it at the MCA gallery and was just blown away. But yeah, my work is lots of oddities, vintage finds, little animals. Um, it's the outside in. So the, there's choco vines from the place that we used to live at that's all throughout. And Barbie and Ken moved out. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a kind of surreal, otherworldly residence. What kind of people inhabit this particular space? It's a, it's a world in miniature. It's your, it's your kind of interior world. Yeah, it's a definitely interior world. And I've just had so much fun working on it. And I just love that it's very, um, like my exhibition name, Waking Dreamland, there's a real platform for surrealism and all the magical artists that have inspired me along the way. So yeah, I like, um, I really hope people can stop by and visit the gallery and just see it because there's miniature chandeliers, there's mm -hmm. lots of detail throughout which you'll see from the other side. It is a fascinating um, object, this, this, this centrepiece. Uh, these bits of plaster work, where do you, where do you source uh, a lot of these objects? I mean, obviously you find them in vintage shops and, and op shops, I would imagine, but the, the bits of plaster work here, I'm fascinated by. Oh, they're beautiful. Um, yeah, I love um, Victorian architecture and so on, so there's no way I could pull those bits off, so they're sourced from miniature places overseas, so yeah, they're just beautiful. A lot of, a lot of from England, actually. And what's the title of this artwork? Uh, it's probably more my company name, Ultraviolet Lair, but it's just the doll's house. The doll's house like no other because, yeah, it's definitely not like anyone I've seen. And there's a kind of <laughs> bizarre fascination as adults with dolls, but what, what, what's, when, you, when, you're, when you think about dolls and doll houses, where did that fascination for you begin, obviously as a child? I don't know. I just, I just love. Um, it's like when I had, I, I went to uni at UTS, and I also went to TAFE and studied fine arts. But I just remember even like my submissions for work were always not the standard, and I've just been obsessed with dolls for some reason. <laughs> so that's pretty, pretty much it. Yeah. Um, it's it's the world in miniature. Um, but yeah, these doors open, they're, they're, as you mentioned, there's a chandelier with lights in it. I mean, it's quite extraordinary, the level of detail uh, in this particular work. Yeah, um, it's just, I just love detail and that's what I've uh, found with artists that I like, like Audrey Beardsley. So yeah, it's just been a great experience, just having my own fun. Let's quickly name check those influences. Uh, Edward Kineholtz, mm -hmm. the American, um, his wife Nancy Kineholtz. Um, we were talking about Duchamp, Marcel Duchamp. Yes. I see some Duchamp, some of the Duchamp's last work in particular, but other artists who've had a big impact: Audrey Beardsley, yeah. uh, Sir John Tenniel, who illustrated the the very first, one of the very first Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, the book. Oh my God, uh, me, uh, from Lewis Carroll. Mm. I was just blown away when I saw the original pages, which have a actually influenced the, some of my artworks that are in, which we'll see when we do a walk around. Well, yeah. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's do have it. a walk around. <laughs> 